I am finally taking a quick break to sort of like reset and there are a lot of things and a lot of reasons why I'm going to close. I got really tired. So today is the shop update day. I have been waiting for this day since probably early October because I had to make a last minute decision to extend the closing of the shop. I was supposed to open last October but you know I was getting through a lot of uh, mental health problems at that time and I didn't really want to sacrifice that plus working on my book which I just finished submitting a couple weeks ago so I decided to move the update to this November so it's my last big update and so there are a lot of things that have been long overdue and I'm so excited that they're finally up so it actually just reopened a couple of minutes ago it's now 10.09 Current status, we have 50 plus visitors. Cool. I hope everyone gets what they need. Usually for November, we really have a lot of uh, limited edition items like the autumn box and then I made a stationery pack the other day. And I'm so excited to also be packing the happy mail for my patrons. So if you are a student or artist here for this year, I've decided to offer freebie packs. So every patron in the 10 and 15 dollar tier they get like really nice freebies from um stores and also some from my stationery collection and i also got some tea so i'm gonna be packing those today and on my agenda i was able to finish a lot of things actually before the shop update so it's one of those updates where i feel so accomplished and i really value now the importance of really taking time out to prepare everything before getting into it plus my brother is kindly helping me out not kindly he's actually being paid for it but he's going to be helping me out um for shipping so we're going to be tripling our shipping this coming holiday season so that you guys could be able to get your orders of course i know you want to gift them you want to get them for yourselves so we are tripling that up we're also implementing a lot of new things and i'm so excited because i feel like getting there has been such a burden for me like i've always thought that it was so hard to struggle through like all these problems with the shop i also had to change my assistant and i hired a new one who is super super helpful i'm so glad that she's part of the team and now let's get to packing later on i have to start signing the zines because today is thursday happy thanksgiving and then um tomorrow we start packing so i kind of want to make sure that uh, we have like a third of items packed per item so that it's easier for me to start packing tomorrow. This is actually the last time I'm going to be giving out freebies to the student and artist tiers. So I went all out and I got the Karl Kapek tea. I really, really love this Japanese tea brand as well as included assorted Mind Wave sticker sheets featuring some of my favorites you know i'm sure my patrons will also like it there's coffee and then there's writing and everything in between So this year, I added the New York Documented to the list of zines that we have at the shop. So this is my last documented series zine where I feature journal pages from my travels. And I lived in New York for a few months, three years ago. So that is what I compiled into the new edition of the documented series. So I ordered um, craft mailers. I wanted to try if I could use this as another packaging option for my business because a lot of my items are quite flimsy and they can't really stand on its own and i do have the honeycomb wrap but it's a bit tedious to work on and wrap each and every item so in an effort to really work around that i decided to get a couple of these to test out and i'm gonna show you what's inside so it's actually very thick and very crunchy sound so this is the small size and it can probably fit like washi tapes so for example if you want to put this 
um, it fits right in. But if I want to use the medium one, which is this one, this one probably fits a couple of zines. So we have zines. They fit really well here. And maybe like average sized items or like zines with washi tapes. So usually when I pack, since the courier that I use doesn't use other packaging, I just have to um, stick on my label sticker here and maybe like a logo or something. And you can just seal it thoroughly so it has its own sealing mechanism as you can see here. And I want to try something for the large. Hopefully the diarist actually fits here. Let's see. Let's try if this fits. I think it does. Oh, not bad. It fits this and a couple more items. So overall, I think this will be good moving forward, especially if someone just orders a zine or like small items. And I really like the color because, you know, I love craft and I like that this is fully sustainable. That's really what I'm going for here because hopefully if possible, there could be like recycled mailers because these are like brand new light and stuff. And this tape that I'm using, which is from The Good Trade, this is actually self-adhesive, which is great also. So I'm going to link all of these in the description in case you want to get in on it or if you're a fellow small business owner. I'm also looking on Shopee for other options, so I definitely want a canvas. This was what my friend CH sent me. It's also a mailer, but it's a bit flimsier and the size is a bit different. So that's something we will definitely be exploring. So I got a couple of things also from IKEA. I needed additional storage for my zines and other items for the shop as well as some boxes. So that's going to be my holiday project. Every year, I try to hold a 12-12 sale. It's kind of like my big thing. And then we usually have 12% off washi tapes. And so this year, I decided to bring it back. And we've recounted the washi tapes to make sure that we won't have any mishaps as we had a lot the past year. So you live and you learn, basically. And I'm so happy that these are mostly already sold out so that they can be with their new owners. And if anything, I think I spent like 50% of my week's packing, which is 
not surprisingly because packing really takes up a lot of time and you have to triple check everything we've also added a couple of new items that i wanted to include in the shop before we ended the year so from fountain pens also to a wooden perpetual calendar that i collaborated with wood ph and as well as new Japanese tools that some of my patrons requested. I always like taking into consideration what my patrons and customers request because of course we want to make sure that everyone gets what they need and that's kind of one of the things that I always wanted to do at the shop to really make art materials and stationery accessible to everyone and to make it more available especially for like the Japanese tools and other goodies that are in the shop so yeah we did a lot of work but at the end of the day it's a really really rewarding experience and as much as it is very tiring I like to go to bed at night thinking that we've accomplished stuff and I think that is really really rewarding someone got carried away in writing these I guess it's like you know lettering exercise for me so these mailers are fully writable and so I decided to put in some written notes um, just some holiday you know holiday energy and I use the Tombow dual brush pen that I have here this is the 249 color and it just fits right with my sticker label which is great and actually we ran out of delivery labels and I didn't really want to reprint it because we we had like a last like 20 orders left I don't really have time to expedite it to the printer so I will have to stick in the blitz sticker somewhere here at the back ideally in front but yeah I just I decorated it you know just to feel you know more festive and these are gonna be for specifically these mailers will have these lettered words hopefully they don't get wet or smudge in transit so let's see if it arrives in one piece so we are back home and Today is, I think, the second to the last day that we had to process orders for the shop because I think there are just a few more pending payments and the last day of orders was last Saturday. So today is the 20th of December and it's been a long time coming since the first part of reopening the shop. We would had a lot of orders to process. Many thanks to everyone who supported us and supported the shop basically us equals me basically but uh thanks to everyone who supported the 12 12 sale we had a lot of sale items we also put out some exclusive discounts and extended it on to the 15th because it's now or never and i am finally taking a quick break to sort of like reset because you know holiday things and it's also the end of the year but i wanted to pop in and let you guys know that next year i am going to be temporarily closing the shop this is a very loaded answer in terms of why am i closing it but i'll let you know once i finalize things but the last month of shopping for the shop is on january which is my birthday month i didn't want to close on my birthday so i'm actually closing at the end of january and there are a lot of things and a lot of reasons why i'm going to close but if anything i realized that maybe one of the things that I really want to focus on in in the terms of running a shop is creating really long-term products for example projects and products that require long-term planning and long-term design work so for example the zines i really enjoyed working on them but there are a lot of things that i sort of pushed myself into getting into this past 2021 i think it was my self talking and saying like you know Ever since like the pandemic started and I started to I had to close the shop, I had to re-strategize and like this year I sort of like went for it and I got really tired and I think you guys know that by watching. I think you guys or I don't know, maybe maybe but it's really a lot of work and 
that's also the reason why I couldn't fully commit to running a shop. And then I realized now that maybe I can't still commit 100% to a shop. So that is going to be um, temporarily out. But don't worry, if you're in the Philippines and you want to order some of my stuff, I'm going to be leaving them in the care of my really good friends who are also shop owners. So I'll announce that soon. But I think for now, I'm gonna say this because I already decided on it. I'm gonna open definitely pre-orders orders actually for the diarist for international um early in january it's going to be a week of ordering period and i'm gonna ship them out i'm in the middle of getting my mailers so that i have you know mailers sustainable mailers so that i can fill them in with the diarist and the diarist will arrive i think the first week of january i talked to my printer about that but yeah i think there was this whole week that i actually didn't really vlog because i kept crying and i kept feeling like I was such a failure for doing this, for deciding to close, for deciding to remove parts of my business that no longer serve me. But I think that it is what it is. And my trajectory with like the shop has always been like in waves. You know, I, I think the first time I really told myself like I really want to do this for the long haul was like I think in uh, just last year. So there is still definitely a lot of things that I really want to work on with regards to small business, but maybe for now I'm gonna give it like a little parking and really see where it takes me. And I know it sounds like kind of sad news and I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but I like I'd like to think of it as um, you know, when one door closes, another one opens and it's been a pleasure serving you. <laughs> at the shop and yeah we still have like one month of like shop operations so we are still gonna open we still have stocks but probably gonna have like a couple more sales in the coming month just so we can like sort of clear the inventory in time for new things and a lot of changes around not only like the shop or like my business but also me in general there are a lot of things that i'm currently working on at the moment so i can't wait to share it with you but for now, you know, thanks for watching this vlog and I do hope to see you on my next video and take care guys. Bye.